Hi, welcome to PHP tutorial. This is a list of suggestions how you should use this video. The notes for this video can be found at this URL, which is loaded here. And we stop at update. Okay, and now we are going to do delete. Delete is pretty straightforward. So this is probably the last video of EG008. And of course, we'll move on to something real like EG009. EG008 is just for you to warm up on um, dealing with database using PHP. Okay. So let's set up the environment really quick. Launch your Apache web server, MySQL database server. Go and open up your, okay, let me close this first. Go and open up your File Explorer. Go to your C drive. And my PHP, EG008. And we are going to create a new file. Okay, not yet. Sorry, we are going to load the, not yet, we are going to load the output. Sorry, load the web browser. I'm sorry, load the localhost web output on the web browser. And then we are going to look at EG008. And we are going to look at PHP admin, of course. If you need the username and password, here they are. Again, I did not close my browser, so I do not need to log out. I did not log out. I can go straight in, but you will need a username and password, okay? All right, so let's go to the products table of Kung Fu Panda Shop. I want to delete Log Shane, but instead of deleting... Okay, this is kind of interesting because after I delete it, I have to insert it back. And then I have to delete it again using PHP, okay? So, before we even move on to PHP, we want to delete it using just SQL statements so that we don't make mistakes in our SQL statement. You want to isolate your problems. You don't want to do, deal with all the problems at the same time. You want to take care of one thing at a time. Like make sure your SQL syntax is correct first. So, delete. So, let's say you want to delete from the products table. where the product ID, which is the unique, uh, is the primary key, which is unique. Okay, sensitive. Where the product ID is equal to 15. Okay, so you want to delete this one. Be very careful about where you where, write the where statement. If you write something wrong that is always correct, you will delete everything from the table. Yes, like where one equal to one, everything will be gone. Don't do that. You lose your job if you are working in a, <laughs> working for a database. Um, so make sure this part is correct, and it's a good idea to test on the you know development database before you try on the real thing. All right, so let's try that in SQL first. Delete from products where product ID equal to fifteen. Keep your finger crossed. If you see all the data disappeared, you know why. All right. Yeah. Go. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, so only one row affected. Very good. You did not wipe out everything. Come over here. I'm sorry. Um, browse again. Okay. Um, Log chain is gone, right? 15 is gone. So that's very good. So you know the SQL statement is correct. All right. Now, I want not shame back, okay, so that I can delete it again using PHP to do that. Remember, we wrote an insert two videos ago, so let's click on that. Log chain is shown here. Browse again here. Log chain is back. So now you can delete log chain again using your PHP code. But to delete log chain in PHP, now your product ID becomes 16 because in the last video, we also explained that because 
you use auto increment, this thing will just get bigger, right? That's gap. So you have to change this to 16. Ah, I don't want to save this. All right, delete from products where product ID equal to 16. So that will work. But now instead of doing it in the PHP my admin, you want to write your um, PHP code for that. So let's go back here. We want to write a PHP code. So bring out our EG008 again. We are going to right click, create a new text document called EG008. Nope. Let me try again. Sorry. I click on something else. New text document. Let's call it EG008F delete dot php okay let's talk a little bit about naming um i named my file this way is because i want you to see the sequence of my job right i do this one first and then this that's why i a b c d e all here if you create a program for your company probably you don't need to put eg008 in one okay unless you know you want some kind of uh, sequence you don't have to follow this kind of name. You can just do like database error, delete or something. All right, open this in Novi++. So now we want to do delete. Again, we can copy our own code, okay? It's good to copy our, your own code because you know that it works, okay? You are, you, if you copy other people's code, it may be under circum different circumstances. Their code may be wrong, so it's not a good idea. But it's a good idea to copy your own code because you know it works. So let's copy from say insert, right? So in the delete, so now you can see I switch the tab between the two files. So this is my delete, this is my insert. All right, so now require once. Um, we need to bind value, but Let's create a query first. Single quote and double quote doesn't really matter because it's a string in PHP. So sometimes you know you can use them interchangeably. For, for, for this particular case, it doesn't matter. So let's say I copy my code. My SQL, I'll put it here. Um, this is bad because this is hard coding. Okay, so this is not good and then you want to bind value later so you put um, you put that there and then we can copy our own code First, you want to prepare, right? And then you want to buy value, right? And then you want to execute and close your cursor. So I can copy that piece of code here. You know that it works. You want to copy your that thing there. You know it works. And then you also want to copy your include so you can see the deletion. You know it works, okay? Um, technically you can also do what you do in the update like how many rows deleted but I think I'm going to skip that oh don't forget to change the bind value here so you bind your product ID to your product ID okay you do not want to just put the product ID inside there will be security issues um, people may do SQL injection attack so that's good that's not good so bind value will be safer all right, so 16 is what you want to delete. Okay, 16. Again, be careful. Don't make me stay here. You may wipe out your whole table. Okay, or half of your table. That's bad enough. All right, you only want to delete what you want to delete. Okay. All right. So let's try that. Did I save? Yes, I saved. Come over here. Reload. Press your delete. Okay, lost chain is gone. 
come over here, double check. Lost chain is gone. Okay. All right. So we did a delete. Um, that's a good place to stop. So to do a quick recap in EG008, we created a database, connect to database, show database error, select select statement, insert things into the database, update, delete, and everything. You realize that this is a very simple example. It's not real, all right? If you're gonna do update in a real-time situation, they will pull data from the database, show it to the user in text boxes, and then do the update. But that would be too complicated for a beginner example. So in the later examples, we'll do some more real stuff like EG009, we are going to do something more realistic, okay? Here, we just introduced to you how to do the PDO, how uh, introduced to you the methods in the PDO, PDO object, how to connect to the database and just use single, sta single SQL statement to update the content of the database. And then this is the foundation. So later in EG009, here we are going to do something more realistic, more real, okay? Thanks for watching. This is a good place to stop. Since we stop EG008, I'm going to close everything just to show you how everything is closed. I don't need to save this. And then I can close this. I can close that. I can leave this file here. I can close my XM, shut it down. And we are done. Okay, we finish EC008. That's a good place to stop. Thanks for watching. Bye.